Hey everyone, my name is Braden. We're going to go over how to remove columns and rows from a pandas data frame. We're also going to go over how to do this in a multi-index or hierarchical data frame. Okay, to get started, we're going to import pandas as pd and numpy as np. And I have created a little bit of code that will create a data frame for us. So we'll run that. This data frame has 25 rows of data and five columns. The columns are A, B, C, D, and E with this random data here. If we wanted to drop column D, we can do that easily by df drop. We'll specify the name of our column and the important part is axis equals one. So the column axis is one and the row axis is zero. So if we wanted to drop rows, it'll be zero. We're dropping columns, so that's axis one. And then we want to specify in place equals true so that the changes that we make are kept. So now we can see that column D is dropped from our data frame. Let's say we have multiple columns to drop at a time though. We can also do that quite easily. So we'll just copy this code from above and paste it in below. This time what we can do is in square brackets specify which columns we want to be dropped. So we'll say column C and column E and everything else is the same otherwise. So I'll run that. We can see that our data frame has changed. We dropped column C and column E and all that's left is columns A and B. So that's pretty handy and easy to do. If we have a lot of columns that we want to drop and only a few columns that we want to keep, what we may want to do instead is recreate our data frame with just the columns we want. So I'm going to create the data frame that we had above again just because we've already dropped those columns so we want to start fresh and what we can do is say we want to just keep columns a and b instead of saying drop c d and e it might be easier to redefine your data frame with the columns that you want you can do that by specifying your data frame and then with two square brackets on either side, put in the column names that you want to keep. And then this will return our data frame with just the columns that we want to keep. To drop rows, what we can do is the same procedure, just specify axis equals zero. So df drop, we're going to drop rows zero and Three. To specify rows, we say axis is equal to zero and in place is equal to true. So we see that our row zero was dropped and also row three was dropped. Moving on to multi-index data frames. I've created one here. This is based on the user guide. I've changed a few things just to make it a little more practical for us. The guide can be found at this URL here. So what I'm doing here is creating two arrays. One is for our first level, also known as level zero. And then our second level of our index here. And then I'm creating the data frame with some random data and columns A, B, C, and D. So let's create that. And we see our level zero and then our level one index here. Right now our levels don't have names, so I'm going to assign them names real quick. We'll just call them level zero and level one. And we can see that our levels now are named. If they didn't have names, you can still access them by their index zero and one. If we wanted to drop girth from our data frame, we can do that 
by specifying our data frame dot drop and we'll say girth is what we want to drop and our level we're going to specify this time as an argument and our level is one also index one so we can either specify level as one or the name of the level level one this is for rows so we're going to say axis equals zero and in place equals true and girth has been dropped from our data frame the same principles apply as above if we wanted to drop multiple rows we can do that we'll do that with our level zero this time and we'll say we want to drop baz and foo and the level is equal to zero. We'll specify the index this time. Axis equals zero and in place equals true. And we can see that Baz and Foo are no longer in our data set. So it dropped all those rows for us. That's how you drop columns and rows from data frames Thanks for watching.